Hello, this is Billy Core from the Nostalgia Mall, and Happy New Year. This is the first official video of 2025 for me. Hope everyone had a good Christmas and a good New Year's. Anyway, uh, this is a computer we haven't seen in a while. I had this uh, put in storage back in the summer because of an issue that I hope to sort out in this video. This is my... Carolina Flyer Pentium 3 custom build. This is uh, always one of my go-to computers for retro stuff. Um, can normally, in most cases, play about anything. It has a Pentium 3 clocked at 1 gigahertz with a Intel 440BX chipset. This is a uh, I believe a Asus slot one motherboard, so uh, the Pentium 3 is on a slot kit adapter. And we've got a floppy drive, DVD drive, and SD card adapter in place of the hard drive. And we also have a 3D Effects Voodoo 3 in here. But onto the reason I'm making this video, there's a, a slight issue with this. In fact, it was actually discovered during a live stream I did this past summer where I was playing games on this computer. I was having trouble getting certain games to uh, load properly. Like, I remember uh, Earthworm Jim wouldn't work at all um, on my Windows 98 install or my Windows 95 install. I have several OS installs for this computer, but n none of them seem to work, and the issue seems to have started when I upgraded the sound card in here last year to uh, from a, uh, I forget what it was, to a uh, Sound Blaster AWE64. And that leads me to believe that either something is wrong with the sound card or something's wrong with the sound card software. Now, thanks to... Uh, my good friend and fellow YouTuber LGR, I received a uh, 1997 Creative Multimedia Upgrade Kit that had a All64 in it as well, but I put it in one of my gateway computers. But it did come with a driver CD. Now I'm going to try that first, see if using the CD for that card will uh, give me better results for this computer, and if not, well, we'll just have to find another sound card, which is a shame, because I do love the uh, All64, so anyway, let's get this computer hooked up, and I'll uh, first demonstrate what the issue is, see if it's even still happening. It's been like six months since I last used it, probably. Okay, got it hooked up with my Windows 98 SD card. It's the first time turning it on since, I guess, last summer. It still seems to boot up. has an odd amount of memory. And detect our AWE64 that may be, unfortunately, a problem. Okay, apparently we have a network issue.
Apparently I've changed monitors since the last time I used this computer. Yeah, it looks right to me. And there is sound, I just had it on the wrong input on the switch. Well, it appears we've hit an unfortunate uh, snag. I can't get any sound out of the sound card at all anymore. Just humming and hissing. So, I think I've had yet another beloved AWE64 bite the dust on me. So, here's what's going to happen. We're going to open this computer up. Take the card out. And just replace it with this generic uh, Vibra card. It's not nearly as good, but it'll give us sound and dorsal sound uh, correct, most importantly. So yeah, this is going to be a downgrade video, unfortunately. Let's get started. Oh man, why did it have to be like this? And yeah, I could take the AWE64 out of the... Gateway 2000 P5166XL, but I like having it in there. So we're just going to have to work with what we got. Here's our poor deprecated AWE64 in the bottom ISA slot. Poor thing. I don't know why uh, AW64 seem to die so often, which is a shame because I really like them. Okay. Oh yeah, this doesn't even have a wave table header on it. So if I want to put a Dream Blaster on here. I'll have to put another sound card in here that has the header, but this will give me sound for now. This slot blank does not belong here. Okay. I even put a AW64 sticker on here from Geek and Spiel. That'll no longer be valid. All right, let's give it a try. Okay, we should get a new hardware uh, thing coming up. Of course, I think I may have had a another Viber in here before the AW64. Nope, oh, it's seen it as new. Create a driver disk. Uh, oh. I don't have a creative driver disc. Uh, it's not even connected to the network where it would normally be. 
besides your Windows 98. This is the most standard sound card you could have. Why do you need extra files? I'm going to have to hunt down the drivers. Okay, I fixed my network problem. Uh, I think the network card on this computer has a uh, loose connection. It's not with the cable, it's the card itself. So, it's probably another card I'll have be having to swap out on here. But, not right now. But, we got my network drive up, so let's get those drivers installed it was begging for. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm planning on uh, reformatting this uh, installation anyway. <laughs> uh, I guess I just want uh, to know it works. Okay, what are you doing here? You mean there's no there's no file there? And what do you what? <laughs> you mean it's not there either? What are you expecting? Are you so picky with the drivers? Okay, there we go. There's something. I've got a stockpile of random creative drivers on here on my network drive. They get mixed up from time to time. Oh, that's interesting. We have no sound. Just like on the AWE 64. Something is not right. <laughs> it's still broken. It's still, it's still broken. Suddenly there's sound and I'm about to be blown out of this room. <laughs> Now those cheap Dell speakers can get that loud. Apparently they can. <laughs> That's MIDI. We still got no sound effects. Why is that? What? are you talking about? I don't know if I've ever seen that error before in my 25 plus years of running Windows 98. Is this computer more of a train wreck than it was when I left it? Another application is playing audio. What the? still broken. It's still broken. Okay, I've rebooted. Will we get a startup sound? And by the way, it froze when I tried to reboot it. Ah, oh, now my network went down again. That is music to my ears. It really is. <laughs> so I think that does kind of confirm the fate of this AW64, unfortunately. So, go back.
that in the media folder just to uh, double check a few things. Hey, this video wouldn't be as entertaining without something going wrong, you know? And I hope I brought you joy and entertainment through my pain. Alright, let's do the music, uh, Windows Store. I like it. Alright, then we got a working sound card. But, we're not done yet. Because as you recall, when the AWE 64 started giving me issues last summer, it was when I was trying to play my favorite game, Earthworm Jim. And I was having all kinds of issues with it. So let's see if that's solved our issue here. I can't remember exactly where it failed or how it failed. I just remember Earthworm Jim messing up. Yeah. So far, so good. <laughs> Well, that is most certainly a good sign. We got CD audio as well. Maybe I'll look for another one of these. I don't know. At least I've got one in my uh, gateway next to this computer that works, so I'm not completely uh, out of the woods on AWE64s, but yeah, I seem to have terrible luck with them. As much as I enjoy high, how they sound, they seem to high, have a high failure rate compared to sent standard Sound Blaster 16 bass cards like what we put in here just now. But I think we're in good shape. I'm satisfied, and the camera shook its head in agreement. <laughs> that was actually me banging against the uh, tripod, which by the way, I need to make a mental note to get a new tripod this year. This one is, I've had since like 2018, it's on its last legs, quite literally. <laughs> so. I think I'm going to uh, go ahead and reformat this and just give it a new lease on life. Haven't used this computer in six months. It's glad I'm glad to have it back in the circulation again. It's always been a favorite of mine. So, until our next video, this is Billy Core signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. Please follow me on social media for channel and project updates. You may also support me on Patreon or as a channel member if you'd like. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.